Did you can't. No, hey, no, man. no, no. no. <laughs> Look, man, I'm a little swelling. <laughs> I like how you keep doing. You, 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 you can't. I fucking ate grated. Yeah, you keep saying that from a spoon. And yeah. I shouldn't. I knew it was gonna kill me. It was. It was eleven o'clock. I'm watching that doc- documentary on crack. And I'm. And, oh, and Snowfall. You, you see that? Uh, on no, that's Netflix, FX show. On Netflix. No, what's it called? Documentary on crack. The war on drugs. War on black people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, is it called the war on drugs? Yeah. Well, crack, crack, crack was Reagan. you know yeah. cocaine, back, especially was the seventies. It was actually the eighties. Uh, so 80s, cocaine 82, was 83, 84. was uh, predominantly a white drug because it was more expensive, and yeah. then crack was the cheap drug, and they made the laws for crack way worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's most, what my dad was selling, and black yeah. people got caught with crack, so rules. they went to prison for a long fucking time. As in, Meanwhile, as in, if coke. you had this much crack, so you, if you got that as a white kid you 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 know hey man mm, don't mm-hmm. do that yeah you didn't go to jail if you were if you were 22 i remember this so well i remember it so well my buddy was in jail for a little bit and i yeah. went to visit him and he said see that guy and i saw this young like athletic looking black kid who was like 22 he was doing a 23 year stretch because he was selling crack they made it cocaine. really hard on black i'm people talking about crack. people people were put away yeah for 20 and 30 years 15 years the minimum sentencing was Rockefeller laws. So yeah. They said they, mm-hmm. no matter, the judge couldn't, the judge literally couldn't do anything. There, the was, there was a guideline, that's how it was. Yeah. It was called the war on drugs. And so what happened was you were taking dads out of the home. You yep. were taking brothers out of the home. Right. You were taking sons out of the home. Yeah. And they, the, the they came figures. back and they, and then to add insult to injury, so now you come out and it's been, I don't know, uh, 20 years, you got no skills. No and you nothing. have a felony on your record. You got a felony, it's so no you're time. not getting housing. You can't even live with your mom. No. Because your mom lives in a, in a project, yep. or your mom lives in, a, in, a, in a, an association, whatever it is, and they don't want a felon in there. So you can't even live with your mother. You can't live with your family. So now guess where you live? On the street. You literally just told my dad's story. <clears throat> yep. Well, that's <laughs> what... That's literally... Yeah. That's literally Exactly. Everything you just said right there. Because I'm it's sure he impossible. tried getting a job when he get out. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's he, impossible. he tried to, but it was so impossible. And he, he wanted to do right because he wanted to get back in, uh, into mine and my brother's uh, life. Yeah. Right? He was, he was trying real hard, but he goes, everywhere was rejecting me. He goes, but the only way I knew how to make money, and, you know, he goes, I, you know, I'll just try to do it for a little bit to make some money. To get on know, my to feet. Get, to get on my feet and, you know, be back in your guys' lives. But um, is that when he, he got caught? He ended up getting caught. Well, you go back. So to he, what he you did know. a total. Of, he did a total of seven, seventeen years. Gee, yeah. Yeah. warehouse, just warehouse. Yeah, and you can never raise your kids. And stuff. Well, the, yeah. the the big one. A lot of people aren't. Well, I mean, guys, it's, it's kind of getting attention. But you know, they passed uh, marijuana in New Jersey. They obviously it's passed here in California, Arizona, it, Arizona, New York's going to pass it. But what's fucked up is just guys locked down for long stretches for life, marijuana. For life. Long. Stretches. Oh, how yeah. how crazy Some is that? For life. And it's Super like, so hold crazy. on. So you're going to change the rules because the, the economy needs money. So you're going to change the rules on weed. But then what about these guys? Because now you're cool with it. And because they no. did when it wasn't cool, now they they lose their fucking lives. Yeah. And their dads and their brothers. Anytime you have a massive government movement, like what you got to be very careful with these things. The war on terror. That, that, that war has been going on for 17, 18 years. Long as running war, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and Iraq. Uh, now, to the tune of over $11 trillion. Because you got to understand. Say it again. The, $11 trillion. Trillion. That's a thousand billion. That's a thousand, <laughs> that's a thousand billion. A thousand billion. A thousand billion. A billion seconds, 33 years. Bezos doesn't have that much. One billion seconds well. is 33 years. So um, if you're real lucky, you might live three billion seconds, if you're real lucky. Usually, most people live two billion. Seconds. You guys, I guess, about a thousand billion. billion. Yeah. S- a thousand billion. So eleven thousand billion. Try to put that in mind. On the wars, the Middle East wars, which have been expanded, and what happens is there's money in it. There's money in Oil. fighting drugs. There's money in fighting mm-hmm. terrorism. Yep. And, and so when you when you label something a war on drugs, the war on terror, you better be you better be very careful, and you better look at who's actually doing the dying, <sighs> who's doing the dying, it's and who's up, doing huh? the suffering. So fucked. You, up. We always had conversations about this, but we all can agree the CIA put crack or cocaine in our neighborhood, right? Uh, well, that's what. Well, that's. The I narrative. don't know. I've heard that. Yeah. I I I, I don't see the, my problem with simplified. You got to be careful also with going. The CIA did the. It, it might have been rogue elements. So okay. so there are rogue elements in any group that can make money off stuff like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. I just know that cocaine is big money. It is. Cocaine is big money. Mm-hmm. And the biggest well, It's a billion dollar business planet. a year. It's uh, an $11 billion dollar uh, business a I'm year sure. for the cartel. And you know the number one consumer? 
America. America. Of course, that's what so I'm saying. So it's like, so if it's you're a number huge one market. There, so you, like, could we take out the cartel in a week and release the special force hounds on them? For sure. Yeah. Again, it's an $11 billion business. And exactly. have, yeah, and, and so it starts from the top, though. If you want to eliminate drugs, well, there's other fires to put out. I think also you've got, if you have the big, you're not stopping. Who? Good luck stopping everybody from doing cocaine. Yeah. You ain't stopping. <laughs> yeah. We no. know this. Hey, B, have, you, have, you see, have you heard read the book, The Silk Road? No. And they came out with a movie on it. They just did a movie on it. Stevie's actually good friends with the guy Ol oh, yeah. Ulrich or whatever. Yeah. But his concept, I I vibe with it. I fuck with it. So he started in Austin, and he had all these failed like careers and stuff. And he was like, what I want to do is uh, basically Amazon for drugs, where it's a safe marketplace because yep. he believes in you know freedom of speech, everything. Like mm -hmm. You have the will. If you want to do drugs, do drugs. So he, he had good intentions. But then, and it was all Bitcoin. So the way Bitcoin works and the way the Silk Road work, you couldn't follow, you couldn't track it. Mm -hmm. So you had bad guys trading stuff on there. Because start off as like a community in Austin, and they, you know, sell shrooms and you know uh, ecstasy and marijuana, and people were getting these packages. They couldn't believe it. Then it blew up. He did an interview on Gawker, and it just blew the fuck up. And he was making, I think they said over seven million dollars a day. Once it started, he was making seven million dollars a day. Yeah. But, the, the, but have, have you? The, yeah, the, the, the yeah, I have a question. But but here's the thing. Yeah. So it's all fun and games, but mm -hmm. that's just not the way it works. So you know what he's doing now? He's a, double life sentence. Yeah. Two so years, crazy. Double life sentence. But but plus the, here, 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 plus fifteen years. But this is where he gets dicey, and this is where me and Stevie disagree. Stevie's like, oh, you really think you should get live for that? I'm like, N -n 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 I don't think he got live for his business aspirations and having an open market for drugs. He got live because. As he kept going, he was doing murder for hire. Yes. He, wa he wanted to kill two guys, and there's an informant, a, uh, a FBI agent was undercover, got on there, learned the system, and became friends with him, and was uh, texting him like, you know, what do you? This guy's gonna fuck us over. What do you want to do? And he's like, kill him for me. Mm. So they have it d two. Twice. So that's, that's, where, that's way, where, yeah. Yeah, by the way, that's that murder. Yeah, that's so that's why I said to Steve. I'm like, and the, but here's the she thing. So that yeah. FBI agent faked. Faked the murder. Obviously, he wasn't really killing. It. So he faked it and sent the guy pictures. But that that owner Ulbrich's uh, intentions. He he all for all he knew is that guy was murdered. Mm. Even though the murder, they're like the murders never happened. I'm like it doesn't matter. He thinks they did and yeah. ordered those murders. Ordered the murders. He ordered come, on. You, you, come on. But that's their defense. Like, but they never. No, nobody was killed. It's like it doesn't matter. His intentions. You and ordered, as far, ordered a hit. As far as he knows, have you they were been killed. on the? Uh, it's very interesting you're bringing this up. Have you been on the dark web? Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, back page. Life is dark enough. Because somebody brought me on that dark web. By somebody, you mean Sam weekend. Tripoli? No. Nope. Ari Manis? This weekend. What was you By doing accident. Uh, oh. well, I, I don't want to get into and details. And it's basically the Silk Road. It's dude, still going on. Dude. You can they, order whatever you he, want. He goes, there's whatever you think is uh, the economy on the, our regular thing. Because uh, I, he goes, there's a there's an economy you can and I I don't know if it's illegal to even be on there. I don't know. No, it's you not. do IP scramblers. He was show I said I want to see this. He was showing me. He was showing me like they so that you have a, you have to have an IP scrambler, you have to have all this different, you know, stuff, but there is a I, I don't know, there's a multi-billion dollar, maybe trillion dollar economy oh, going on on all the drugs. All, it's so and, hilarious. And, 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 and the, the, and the darkest arts. You can well so so murder, so, you can watch so murder videos on there. You're a drug that? dealer. You can have drugs, mm -hmm. pure drugs, sent to your home. Yeah. And when something apparently is sent to your home, you can't get in trouble for it because you didn't send it. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't sign the package. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know I don't saying? know. Yeah. Yeah, something like that, yeah. right? So I was looking at all, I mean, and so you think, well, you get ripped off? No, it's a, it's a, it's a system where it goes into escrow. The money goes into escrow, like with, um, I guess, with like a house or e something. eBay or something. Yeah. But there's a middle point. You can so you, don't you get got fucked. murder for hire. You got you know uh, beating up people for hire. You got and then you got I, apparently and I, I you know I, apparently the child pornography on that fucking thing is it's so beyond what people realize. So it's so a real beyond. problem. But uh, have, it's, have you it's, noticed? It's like I I only heard about it on I think it was Sam Harris talking about it. Mm -hmm. Like we don't even understand what it's what's really people fun. don't realize That's how big child on. porn is and it's, like child uh, sex trafficking. Yeah, it's, it's super big though. It's yeah, horrifying. but you notice a lot of those rings and obviously it's barely making dent. But a lot of those rings are getting taken out. You see it on the news, but they don't give credit to anybody. But it's that the the Epstein's girl who they have in prison right now. Mm -hmm. She's telling them who to go after. And you notice a lot of them getting taken out right now. Yeah. Is that true? Well, behind I think the scenes, it like behind a, the scenes, though, we that's don't... That's good. Yeah, well, they, they don't they give her credit. The they're, they're, 
every week someone's getting busted. There are rings. It, it's there her. Are yeah. There are rings of people that, that communicate with each other yeah. and trade child pornography. And what that means is that those children are being exploited somewhere. Somewhere. So it's a, so it's a whole system thing. going on. Well, yeah. And, and but it's drugs, it's, it's weapons, business. it's exotic yeah. animals, it's great. It's an entire ecosystem. You got a whole mm. tiger out there? Uh, you got everything. Whatever you I want. Couldn't, I'm Literally looking whatever at, you want. It's categories. You can even watch people get killed. Yeah. It's horrifying. Well, I think about like the like when it comes like to Jared, the Fogel, the subway dude. Yeah. yeah. Like he couldn't be been the only person. The other pe other people get caught up with him. They find they they're, so they're they're so you have to show if you want to be in a group you have to show a an image of of a you with a child or a some child being exploited and it has to be current so you have to prove that it's current it's not old that you didn't get it from something else that you are the one who originated it somehow yeah there are all kinds of shit there are all different there's world there's a thing called world market there's another thing all different markets all over the place and i was just like i i and i said i go am i allowed to are we allowed to be on this fucking yeah thing? yeah you're not getting trouble for being on there but in but the in the also you got these young smart younger smart millennials who are doing this they're they're even a step ahead of the government as yeah. far as that stuff goes yeah, yeah. like they'll catch them eventually but yeah they're on to the next thing yeah, yeah. And so was the cartel like the you know yeah. especially when trump was president he locked down the borders and wouldn't let anybody come in they were saying that this detective and uh feds were saying no one adapts better than the cartel like we can shut down whatever we want they always always find a way to adapt Capitalism. and get drugs through yeah yeah, yeah. They're, like, they're like it's unbelievable yeah. like most don't like we'll take we'll cut this leg out from underneath them and you know they they do figure they do all right and then we take another leg then they're fucked cartel we take one leg goes right back because when you talk about the cartel you're talking about the highest levels of government and the military and the, if there's that much money mm -hmm. if it's a billion if you're gonna make a billion dollars if i say to you and you're working in the government or whatever and i go i'm give you a million dollars mm -hmm. yeah yeah but but, 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 yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, also take one time to get cut though. but yeah, also but think how much money network. there think how much money there is and you look at the big far farms the business they're doing the money they're making so if you legalize all drugs like m uh, most people agree with then they'd miss out on that money so the you know the the dark money of yeah. all that billion dollars because because the cart you want to cut the cartels legs out yeah legalize drugs mm -hmm. I agree. You have stores popping up and those mm -hmm. cartels are fucked mm -hmm. that's what I'm Americans are like we're just gonna make our own shit you we know people are gonna get high what, just make them legal make them legal. And, and zone it I, and tax it and, yeah. and, 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 and then make money and make, make money, money and bring the economy back but then, that's violence that way as well 100 yeah. percent of course it does because if you make the penalties that strong the people willing to take those risks are bad people they're gonna kill to get that you know they, they have to enforce you mean a the whole dark code of dark conduct world yeah they have to you know that's why i got out of the trade wait 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 you a little drug you where, where do you think i've been not on the dark <laughs> web i, 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 fuck. I didn't know that's you what you've been doing this whole time <laughs> fuck yeah you little Dude, old drug go, man. Man. get 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 where's my fucking how about the when i get off stage at the lab factory Right away, you go, bro, I figure out what you look like. I'm like, what? This is front of a bunch of other comics. I'm like, what? You're like, you look like a Rottweiler. We got a shit together. Oh, you do, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm just saying, dude. Grab that mic, son. You do, bro. Look. Yeah. Bro, look.